New at 11, a local doctor says the population of people suffering treatment-resistant depression and PTSD is growing. So where they turn when traditional medicines fail? Well, one UCSD physician says he is getting remarkable results using a hallucinogenic party drug known on the street as Special K. NBC 7's Dave Summers is here with the story. Mark and Catherine, Special K is a nickname for ketamine. Long before it was known as a party drug, though, ketamine was used as an anesthetic. It's on the World Health Organization's list of essential medications for that purpose. For the last five years, though, UCSD psychiatrist Dr. David Feifel has been injecting deeply depressed and suicidal patients with low doses of ketamine at his clinic. Those in treatment tell me it's life-changing. 23-year-old Ross George took the very long trek from his home in Canada for this 30-minute trip on 20 milligrams of ketamine. So if the trip is really intense, people will feel that they're, they're kind of dissolving into the, into, the, uh, into the universe. It's not enough to render him unconscious, but just enough to make the patient hallucinate and temporarily clear his mind of suicidal thoughts. All right, you're going to enjoy this. George was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder and borderline personality. Three times in as many years, there we go. Ross attempted suicide. The most recent, and I put a plastic bag over my head and an elastic band to create a seal. Led him to what some patients call the clinic of last resort. Before I came here, I, I wrote my suicide note out. Um, I had a whole plan on how I was going to kill myself. What's it like for you? Hell, most of the time. Patient John DeKergelin was diagnosed with OCD and depression as a teenager. Just about any antidepressant out there I've taken, and none of them have worked. Dr. David Feifel says 65% of his patients respond positively to ketamine treatments. All of a sudden, my depression was just gone, and I felt like in my mind I could do anything, uh, that I was like I was all-knowing, I was enlightened. The effect is almost immediate unlike many popular antidepressants that take up to two weeks. Brain cells that will, will, will uh, interact with, uh, with, you know, with other brain cells and sprouting new connections. And that happens very quickly within 24 hours. Typical antidepressants modulate neurotransmitters like dopamine and serotonin to help brain cells communicate. Ketamine modulates an often overlooked neurotransmitter called glutamate. Actually, if anything, it's almost like you know, stimulating the, uh, the brain. Dr. Feifel says ketamine may be known as a club drug, but it's not addictive. It's not an FDA-approved treatment for depression, but can be used off-label because for decades, ketamine has been an FDA-approved anesthetic. They will say to me without any uh, equivocation that uh, were it not for ketamine, they would not be here today. Rose is just now coming out of his third ketamine treatment. It's like you leave your body and you gain a whole new perspective on your life, your, your fears, your worries, your anxieties. Ketamine is not a cure. The effects last anywhere from two days to several months. Uh, a brief respite from suicidal feelings and a debilitated life, though, is described in a word Dr. Feifel's patients often use. I have hope for the first time in my life, and hope, that's enough. Dr. Feifel says 30% of his PTSD patients are responding to ketamine treatments. He expects that number to rise with all the referrals he's getting from the VA hospital. I'm Dave Summers, NBC7.